Hello, ladies and those without boobs. And welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Final Fantasy for the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we liberated the town of Provoca from the pirate bike and his crew, and we successfully commandeered ourselves a ship and set sail across the Aldian Sea to the kingdom of Elfheim. We found out that the elf prince is under a curse that he's been sleeping for five years, and that the dark elf Astos is responsible. We don't know where Astos is, but we did find out about a great bunch of dwarves that live up to the north, so we're going to investigate that. And there's the town of Cornelia. We'll be uh, heading back there pretty soon. Just keep going further up north. And we have a new enemy, the Goggler. This guy is very annoying, and with his gaze technique, he can paralyze you. And luckily, it missed. So we want to focus all of our efforts on this guy right now. Take him out as fast as you can. And this might actually work this time. And it did. Come on, kill it. Kill it. And that was easy enough. And the paralysis should wear off fairly soon. Come on, you. Stop missing. There we go. And we leveled up to level 5. This is a very pivotal level, and this is why. I'm gonna go to status, look at the status of the warrior. If you look at his accuracy, it has moved up to 32. Now, accuracy in this game doesn't exactly determine how accurate your attacks are. What it will do is for every 32 points of accuracy, it will add on what's called an attack multiplier. It'll let your character do uh, an additional hit. In this case, we'll be able to do two hits with our warrior. The reason I didn't want to go with the axe when we were picking out weapons in Provoca is because if we had, the accuracy would not be at 32 at this point. And by the time it does get fast enough where the axe can do double damage, we'll be at a point where, we, where we'll be getting more powerful weapons anyway. And there's the port that we want to um, dock at. And where is the place that we're trying to get to? No, that is not how you do the map. Start, circle, circle, start. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, we want to go down here a bit to this little yellow dot. Just to fight with some more wolves and warg wolves. And here's where we want to go. This is Mount Duergar. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's the town of dwarves. Rally Ho! I believe it's supposed to be Lally Ho. Oh! Money! More money! We could use that. What do you have to say? With the crystal eye, even a blind one is able to see everything. But I hear that Dark Elf Astos stole it from Matoya the Witch. Oh, so there's another thing we want to go after Astos for. Have you spoken with the Smythe the, Sm with Smythe the Smith? No, I have not. With the cr Okay, you say the same thing. What's in here? You look different from the other dwarves. How can I forge a sword worthy of leaving its name in history? Perhaps the legendary metal adamantite can. Ellipses. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be finding some of that stuff later and bringing it back to him. The earth has begun to rot. From the west it comes. Huh? This noise? Oh, Grandpa Nellix at his rock busting again. You hear that little tick tick, that ticking noise. That is Nellix. Banging on rocks. You can't hear that in the NES version. An armlet can work as an armor. It protects you. Huh? Okay, you say the same thing. What do you say? I hear the nitro powder has taken to the was taken to the castle and was locked away inside a room. Oh, we're probably going to need that. I'm looking for the Levistone. You see, the Levistone can make anything float in the air. Sounds important. Let's investigate that noise. 
Well, you don't look like you're banging on anything at all. You look more like you're walking in place. Arr, so close to completing the canal, and a darn rock gets in my way. If only I had the nitro powder. Well, that's in Cornelia, and we can't get it, because we don't have the mystic key that we need to unlock the door. In order to get the mystic key, we need to wake up the elf prince, and in order to wake up the elf prince, we need to defeat Astos. So we can get Matoya's crystal eye, so we can get Jolt Tonic from her. I don't know if the game told us that yet, but that's what we have to do. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to do right here in Mount Dewar Gar. I'll never know how to pronounce it. Dewar Gar? Anyway, that's all we can do here. We mainly just came to get those two chests because that money is going to help us. So, I will meet you back at Elfheim. Alright, so here we are back at Elfheim. On the way here, I stopped off at Cornelia and I picked up a few antidotes. I wanted at least five because where we're going, there are going to be some more poisonous enemies. And I also slept up at the um, inn and I saved. Now, the inn in Cornelia is the cheapest in the game. So now that we have access to the ship, if you can, it would behoove you to stop by there when you need to save your game or if you just want to rest up. So, there is a, t a keep up in uh, the northwest and we want to investigate that now. So that's where we're going to head next. And here is a new enemy, the werewolf. It's just like the regular wolf, but it can poison you. So we want to try to take him out as fast as we can. And all we have after that is to take care of the goblin guards. So that should be easy enough. If they'd stop hitting us. Oh, come on. You really missed that? There you go. And these guys should be easy to pick off now. figure at this level one hit ought to do each one of them in. There we go. Even with a white mage. Unless it just sucks. You piece of shit. Oh, you're useless. Okay, let's keep going. Head up north. And here are the Cobras. Now, I... Hmm. No, I don't think they are poisonous. And if they are, we'll find out the hard way. Yes, that was pretty hard. And for those who don't know, when you are poisoned, you gradually lose HP over time. And now, before we take another step, I want to use an antidote to heal the monk of its poison. Because we will take damage for every step we take. Just an ogre and a lonely gigas worm. They're actually pretty good to run into at this point in the game because they do drop an awful lot of gill at this point in the game. And believe me, we are going to need a lot of gill very soon. All right, so this is the Western Keep. Hello, bat. Key. Oh, hello. Astos has taken all that belonged to this castle. Please go to the cave in the southern marsh and find the crown. Only the crown can restore this castle. Must be some crown. Oh, look. We got a little treasure room over there. Let's see if we can get to it. Yes, I know it seems like a long way for just a, such a close room, but you do really have to go all the way around. And it's locked with the Mystic Key, so that's useless. We'll have to come back here later. Alright, so Southern Marsh, huh? Well, the Southern Marsh actually has some pretty strong enemies in there. So we're going to have to make a lot of preparations, buy a lot of items, do a lot of level grinding, and we're going to head back to Elfheim before I show you just how to do that. So I'll meet you back there. All right, so here we are back at Elfheim. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the level three black magic shop. 
We are definitely going to want to pick up Fire 2 at this point for the Red Mage. And we want to go up to the level 3 White Magic Shop. And how much do we have? Do we have enough to spare? Because if we do, I'll go ahead and grab it. Mmm, let's see. No, I'll probably, no, I'll need like 3,000 for that. Okay, so, for right now, I want to go ahead and pick up Dia 2 for the White Mage. And how much do we have remaining? Mmm, 647, huh? Is there anything at the armor shop that I can grab for right now? Let's see. Can I grab that? Uh, um. Mm, no, I can't get the steel cape. Ah, crap. Oh, well, that'll have to wait. We'll have plenty of gil to grab that. Alright, so that's all I pretty much want to get from uh, Elfheim for right now. All right, next, I'm going to head back over to Provoka, so I will see you there. All right, we're back at the town of Provoka. On the way, I stopped off at Cornelia, and I picked up a few antidotes and sleeping bags, five of each. We're going to be running into some poisonous enemies on the way to where we're going, and we're going to need some sleeping bags because we're going to need to make a few saves and heal up a little bit in between battles. And I also rested at the inn in Cornelia. Like I said, it is the cheapest one. So now, we're going to the place where we're going to do all of the grinding necessary to make our preparations. Yes, we're going to grind in order to prepare for our trip to the Marsh Cave to get the crown. Because it seems to be the only thing that we can really do right now. We're going to get the crown for the guy in the Northern Keep. And that might somehow lead us to Asto so we can beat him and free the prince and then we can get the crystal eye and then we can like go to the Matoya and she'll give us what we need to wake up the prince and then we'll get the Mystic Key. <gasps> and then we'll be able to unlock some doors and we'll see where that goes from there. Maybe we'll get the Nitro Powder. All right, so first let's head east. And then to a battle with some scorpions who I believe can actually poison you. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe they can't poison you. I could have sworn they can poison you. Maybe I've just built up an immunity like, like quagmire to pepper spray. Oh, they can poison you. Well, I look stupid now. Hey, stop hitting me. Come on. Why can't you be a bitch, Scorpion? Like Moldorak on Skyward Sword. Wow, it's really taken a lot of... Uh... Man, my, my warrior lost a lot of health. Let's see if we can do something about that. Well, first of all, let's use one of my antidotes. Good thing I brought them. And... Let's see... Uh, you know what? Let's use, um, yeah, screw it. Let's use a cure spell on him. And another. There we go. That ought to do. It's best that we'll be able to do right now. All right, heading north. Come on, just a little further, just a little further. Please let that be the last random battle before getting to where we need to be. Hooray! We made it! Okay, this is the Power Peninsula. Let's take a look at our map. See, the way things work in the world of Final Fantasy 1 is that entire pretty map up there is separated into grids. Each grid is kind of representative of enemy territory. Only certain enemies show up within certain select areas. Now, this particular area that we are at right now is actually crossing over into this northern grid right here, which allows us to run in into some very powerful enemies very early in the game. We are looking for one enemy in particular. Let's take a look at our levels right now. We are currently at 
level 6 with all of our characters. We want to get up to level 10. And believe me, after we get to level 10, we're going to have more than enough gill to make the purchases we require in order to be ready for the Marsh Cave. Now, I know it seems like a lot, and I love this game, but I will be the first to admit that I understand why it can be a little hard to get into because the first few hours of the game are so poorly paced and require such extensive level grinding. This level grinding section will take roughly an hour, but I promise you, after this... The level grinding throughout the rest of the game will be done in 10 to 15 minute increments. Very small. This is the first and last time I will ask of you to, you know, to level grind this much. From now on, we will be leveled up enough and we will have enough money to do what we need to do in large spurts without, you know, having to stop to level grind. So... First thing we want to do is, uh, hmm, yeah, I could probably go for a little bit of healing. We want to use a sleeping bag, and that will heal about 30 HP for each character. So we're going to save, believe me, you want to save. Now, in the case that your HP is okay, I only did that to heal up a little HP. In the PlayStation version, this can't be done in the NES version, but in the PlayStation version, what you can do is open up your menu and go to Memo. This will allow you to make a temporary save. You can only do this in the PlayStation version. If you're playing the Dawn of Souls version, you can save pretty much anytime, anywhere you want, because, well, the Dawn of Souls version is Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for little bitches who don't know how to play video games. Okay, so we're looking for a specific enemy here. So let's see if we can run into him. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, now, this guy right here, the Necrotor. We want to run into him, but we do not want to run into any other kind of enemy in the Power Peninsula. In the case that you do run into any other enemy besides just the Necrotors alone, what you do is a soft reset. Hold all of the L and R buttons, press select, and start. And this takes us back to the title screen. And you have a few options. You can either load your game or load your memo file if that is what you saved. If you're running off of a memo file, I implore you, use a soft reset like we just did. Don't just simply hit the reset button or you will lose your memory you you will lose your memo file and you will be quite boned. So Let's try again, and I will come back to you when I've run into just a group of Necrotors. Wahoo, Lupal do and other Klonoa-ish expletives. We've run into two Necrotors. All right, so our warrior here is pretty much useless because he's too weak to actually fight them at this point. Now, the Necrotors are undead, which means that they are weak against fire. So we're going to use Fire 2 since it can target multiple enemies, unlike Fire 1. And our monk is equally useless. And now with the Red Mage, we're going to use Dia 2 since, yeah, I know Dia 1 targets multiple enemies as well, but this one does more damage, and we're going to need that. So, let's just hope and pray while we let our warriors do their best. Come on. Please do something impressive. Alright. Now, wow, look at that experience point. 525, just for two of them. Could you imagine if we ran into a group of four? And 2,100 gil. Once again, just for two of them. It would be like double that much with double the enemies there. Wouldn't it? Yeah, math. 
All right, so now what we want to do since we got good and battered is we want to use another sleeping bag in order to heal up and save. Oh, no, come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh, our warrior could probably use a little more. Oh, well, that's what, uh, eh. Yeah, we have more sleeping bags. And if you run out of sleeping bags or antidotes, Provoca sells both of them. You'll also be able to go down to Provoca in order to rest up at the inn and heal up some spell charges like we're going to have to do. Because at this level, the Red Mage only has one spell charge for one Fire 2 spell. So, ha <laughs> ha Okay, also, if you choose to use a memo save, um, do so immediately after fighting a successful battle with the uh, Necrotors. Because if you do a softer set anytime after that, it's just going to revert to the one before you beat them. Alright, so I'm going to head down to Provoca in order to refill the spell charges. I'm going to come out back up to the Power Peninsula, and I'm going to reach level 10 and also gain the money necessary in order to buy all the equipment I need for the Marsh Cave. So, after that is all done, I will meet you back at Elfheim and ready to go to the Marsh Cave. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show. Have a one that is good.